Hey everyone, welcome back to the Captain. I'm Disturbing Puppet. So we are back at Pi. We now have a way to get into the convention. Um, we've got a way to sabotage the exhibit that's there. We've also got a bomb that we can use. Uh, the, well, it's not exactly a bomb. It's more of a disruptor. So it's going to stop the space gate from working. It's not going to blow it up and kill everybody. At least it's not supposed to blow it up and kill everybody. Um, so we've got the prototype sabotage item. Um, so the small electronic device supposedly has the function to sabotage the upper space prototype. So we want to do that. We've got the ticket. Um, we've got a key card for uh, right luggage. So we don't have to have a... Um, basically, we just have to go to the space gate. We've got the entry pass. We put the bomb in the luggage, I think, and we use the key card to kind of get that in from there. Um, so then we can kind of do that and then just leave and we should be okay. Uh, I don't know if we can also use the space gate. Um, I would assume that it's going to go off. I mean, it would be kind of interesting if we could go through it and then it would go off behind us kind of thing. Uh, I'm not sure if that's how it'll work. Anyway, what else do we need to do? Um, I still need a star fragment. It's the only way I can build the thing that's going to stop the disruptor weapons that are going on in Earth. I could backtrack to a planet behind us. I don't know that there is a, a like star fragment there is the problem. I also need dromium and I don't have the cash for it. How much cash do I even have? 35 bucks. Not much. All right. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to check but forgot about was... Where is... So we have this in cargo. A supposedly very advanced machine. Um, so I can dismantle it and make Dromium. That's interesting. I wonder what it does, though. It's got to be more useful than that, right? I meant to check on this before. I wonder if... I wonder if I can talk to one of the crew and have them check it out? I don't know. We could try that. I don't know that we can do anything. Uh, we've got the robot up there. Umix is also up there. We can talk to them and see. I guess we could talk to Jeff as well. How's it going? Great. Uh, focus on learning everything about your enhanced magnetic displacement engine. Uh, so it's the same stuff we've always had. Umix. This looks like the same. Everything is good. All right. We could try talking to Jeff. I mean, we could just make Dromium out of it, but I feel like that's kind of a waste. Hello. Hi. Hi? Hi. Hi? Never mind. All right. I guess we will head down to the planet. We'll head to the convention center. We'll sabotage the exhibits. We'll see what else we can do. I'm kind of assuming we can destroy the space gate without going through it, um, and then we could maybe backtrack to the children of nature, and even though I didn't kill the scientists, they might still give me the drive that they're working on, because I will have taken out the space gate, we've destroyed the exhibit, we've done everything else. Maybe that's enough, maybe it's not, I don't know. They're still having their conversation. So we have the ticket. That's all regarding Space Gate stuff there. I do love the sound these protesters make. Do it again. Start up again. Okay, they're just not going to do it. There we go. Good afternoon, sir. Your ticket, please. Sure, here it is. Thank you. Welcome to the exhibition. I should remind you that this is a one-time entrance ticket only. Make sure you've got everything you need because we can't let you back in. No problem, I've got everything I need. Oh! Well, congratulations, I guess. What happened? You are our thousandth visitor today. Wow. Yeah. You'll get access to your own private VIP booth from where you can see the presentation from above. 
There are also some snacks and beverages up there that you're free to take. Here. Just show this badge to the guard at the VIP entrance on the second level of the building. Thank you. Okay. Is that up here, I guess? They don't care. All right, it must be inside upstairs. Nothing else. All right. Storage boxes. Visitors. Future is here. Well said, I guess. Brother Hong here is a temporal monk of the sixth level. His preferred way of communication is by telepathy. Oh, okay. And you are? I am his voice. I speak his thoughts. You can talk to Brother Hong through me. Ah. So are you here for the Upper Space presentation? Hmm. I have foreseen this event since I was a young apprentice. The technology behind Upper Space could save the sector. We wouldn't have to rely on that dangerous space gate anymore. Brother Hong says that he needs to prepare for meditation. He wishes you a nice day. So he seems to think that it's going to be helpful, whereas the children of nature and everybody else seem like it's not going to make a difference. Police officer. Hold on there, sir. You need to pass security scanner first. Please step through the gate here. Uh, I don't really want to do that. We stop right there, sir. Is there a problem? Yes, we're detecting a very strong power field emanating from you. This is quite common. We don't allow any power cells or the strong batteries of any kind in here. Please step outside and remove all your devices that contain strong batteries. You can use the storage boxes to store your items during your stay. I wonder what's setting it off. Uh, could be the bomb. I mean, that's certainly would make sense. If I lose the bomb, I will be very unhappy. No, I don't want to go through a... Uh, yeah, whatever. I just want to talk to him, see if there's any other dialogue stuff. Alright. We're here to oversee the next step in transport technology. Rumors say that if the presentation goes off without a hitch, they'll launch a full scale this, after the show. You here for the big presentation later today? Yeah, I guess. Why do you find all this so interesting? This will make the Libyan Space Gate lose its monopoly on space jumping. Yeah, I'm a VIP, I gotta go. Well, congratulations then. Have fun. Good day to you, Mr. Wilmu, Thomas Wilmu, Space Fleet. I'm Ingrith. You excited about today? Sure am. Me too. I guess we're all here to see history being made. I have calls to make, if you'll excuse me. Is that it? Yep, okay. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have to leave the bomb here, which I'm a bit concerned about. Well, the sign above the boxes is pretty self-explanatory. I can store things here, things that I'm not allowed to bring into the exhibition. I'll just activate one of these boxes. My storage box. It's empty. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got to be the bomb, right? I hate leaving it somewhere, though. Don't forget to get the bomb on the way back out. Alright, we should be fine now. Alright, welcome to the exhibition. The elevator to the main hall are just at the end of this hallway. The elevator to the main hall are... Okay. Elevator door. 
else. All right. Oh, okay. External elevator. Okay, this is way bigger than I expected. Well, this looks really exciting. This is where it'll show the upper space prototype. Meanwhile, the brand new upper space engine prototype is being prepared backstage. Okay, so we're clear on the security here. Crystal clear. I have posted my best guy at the door. No one will get in without the proper clearance. Good. This only this is the only working upper space engine in existence. We're gonna run a live test with the entire sector watching us later. Nothing can go wrong or we'll lose all our investors and this revolution in technology will die. No need to worry. This backstage is completely secure. Okay then. Carry on. So yeah, we've been told that the upper space and lower space engines are just as bad. Which, I mean, could be the truth. <laughs> so there's the VIP elevator. Biofreeze. So we've got, like, little booths. Sunshine. Judge's booth. Waste and vanish. So the VIP area is up there. Check out everything down here first. Biofreeze. Welcome to Biofreeze. May I ask you, sir? Have you ever been in cryosleep? Um, have I? I don't think I have, right? No, I haven't. Well, it's not very pleasant when you wake up. Your skin is sticky, your mouth is dry. Sometimes you could be totally blind up to a couple of hours. It can take days to fully recover to your former self. Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to freeze yourself without these nasty side effects? I guess so. Say no more. This is exactly why we at Biofreeze have developed the Chill Pill. What's the Chill Pill? Glad you asked. We figured out a way to chemically create a temporal field-like state at your body. What is a body field chemically like temporal state? What? No. Uh, close enough, I guess. Uh, instead of shoving yourself into a bulky cryo chamber, you could just take a pill. Your entire cellular body structure will go into something we call biological stasis. It will begin seconds after you take the pill, and you won't notice a thing. It is quite an exhilarating feeling. You won't notice time passing, and your body will not change a bit. It doesn't matter how long you choose to stay affected, either. As far as traditional life signs go, you're as good as dead. Can I try one of the pills? Of course. Help yourself one of the ones in the jar on the desk. Just remember that these are test pills. The effect of these will only last a minute or so. When we bring them to market later this year, you'll be able to customize exactly how long you want the effect to last. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Old O pills. Chill pill. Put your body in temporary chemical cryostasis. No side effects at all. This is a demonstration product. Effects will only last a few bullets. That's probably how we get through security. I'll grab me a handful of these. Okay. Five. All right. Squeeze balls. It's a cardboard box for squeeze balls. Hmm. There's still one ball left in the box. Can I take it? Apparently not. All right. Sunshine. Welcome to Sunshine. May I ask you, sir, have you ever replaced an empty battery with a fresh new one? Yeah. Yes, yes, we all know that routine too well. What would you say if I told you that we here at Sunshine have a solution for that problem? That'd be great, I guess. Great indeed. Well, may I introduce the Ever Battery? How long does the battery last? Well, we only have one product shipping with the Ever Battery right now. The Stuffed Bear, the Ever Teddy. We guarantee that the battery inside this teddy will work for at least two standard generations. So you can be sure that your children can pass it on to their children without having to change the battery. However, we cannot guarantee that the teddy itself will last that long. It all depends on how well it's taken care of, you know. I see you can win an ever teddy. What's so special about it? Special? I'm not sure I know what you mean. It's our very first product to go up to the ever battery. The only thing you have to do is guess the number of balls inside this glass tube. 
Take a guess and enter the number into the computer over there. Okay, so if they took 300 and filled this up and there's one left... Well, actually, are those balls on the ground? So it's either 299 or... Actually, so that's got to be 1, 2, 3, 4, so like 296. Wrong. Oh, that wasn't right, I'm afraid. But you're welcome to try as many times as you want. So one, oh, there's one over there too. One, two, three, four, five. There might be more scattered around. So I can see five. I don't see any more, so I guess 295. Winner! Oh, congratulations. You got it completely right. Fantastic. Here, let me get your prize. There you are. Your brand new Everteddy. It's an amazing product. It's powered with a state-of-the-art power cell and consumes an extremely small amount of energy. The battery in the spare will last at least a few generations. It will probably outlive your grandchildren. Hmm. Thanks, I guess. that disappear. Teddy bear. Teddy bear I won. It's supposed to contain an ever battery. Just take out the battery. I had to rip off its head to get my hands on the battery. So we have a broken teddy bear. The sad result of tearing a cuddly teddy bear apart. And power cell. A smaller type of battery usually found in smaller types of electronics. There's a label stating cleared for lime import export. Uh, yeah, we saw some place needed a battery. Where was that in lime? I don't think it matters because yeah, I don't think it actually matters because we got around the issue another way, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, somewhere in the hotel. Um, yeah, I can't remember exactly where that came up. But yeah, we could travel back to Lyme, but that's kind of potentially wasting time. I don't know that that's really something we need to do. Uh, we could get another teddy bear, maybe, but that's fine. Judge's booth, best in show. The booth winning first prize for best presentation will be shown on the main stage. Nothing there. Oh, hi. Don't you just love these exhibitions? I sure do. Yeah, isn't it great? All the new things you get to see, and of course all the free stuff you can take. What free stuff? Oh, you don't know? They're giving away free samples of freeze pills over at BioFreeze. They're actually quite tasty. And the guys at Sunshine are practically giving away a free ever teddy bear. All you have to do is guess the correct number of balls in that tube they have. I already know this. See you around. Yeah, so nothing too major. Waste and Vanish. Welcome to Waste and Vanish. May I show you our brand new garbage disposal product? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. And take a look at this. We've installed our trans steam system into the small chamber over here. It doesn't have to be inside a chamber, but for demonstrational purposes, we found it suitable. First, let's put some garbage inside the booth. I'll use one of these test tubes as garbage. Now, for the truly amazing part. I'll step into the chamber together with the garbage. With all the earlier garbage disposal systems, this would have been a bad idea. I can tell you that. As you can see, it only disintegrated dead material. What about your clothes? It also calibrates to ignore all items that are in direct contact to a person. That's why my clothes and the items in my pockets are still here. But you were holding the item. If you have any other questions, just come talk to me. Oh, 
No, it just teleports it over there. Okay. Wow, look at that! Another cube! I knew this would work. So, how are we doing here? Have we chosen a winner yet? Well, right now there are two votes for booth two and one for booth one. I thought the decision had to be unanimous. Okay, we'll do it like this. Let's all have a second look at all the candidates. In about half an hour, we'll compare our notes and decide which one is the best. Okay? Okay, boss. Sure thing, boss. Great. That's odd. Um, okay. Uh, maybe we can get... Whatever these things are. Yeah, I don't want to go in there because something bad will happen, I'm sure. But I might have to at some point. Hello. Uh, hi. Do I know you? No, I don't think so. Oh, excuse me then. I'm in the middle of a conversation right now. Welcome, sir. Are you perhaps an investor or interested in the future of something remarkable? Sorry, but I'm not an investor. That's too bad. I really need some help with this product. I do like remarkable things, though. Then you've stumbled into the right booth, sir. This is so amazing. I found a way to materialize items out of thin air. Really? Yeah. Excuse me for appearing a bit slow, but I think you'll have to explain a little bit more than that. I'm not sure that I can. When I first started this project, I was trying to do something completely different. I was actually trying to convert matter into pure energy. I thought that it would only be a, or be a neat way to get rid of nuclear waste and other dangerous garbage. During my work with that, I stumbled over a space-time frequency where there seemed to be some unknown energy floating around. I then managed to revert the energy signal and convert the energy into matter. I'm now constantly scanning this frequency and materialize all the energy I find. What are you hoping to achieve with this? Honestly, I'm not really sure. I need time and money to figure that out. I believe my best chance is to win the best presentation award they talked about earlier. The winner gets to show his or her present invention up on the stage after the main presentation. Haven't the judges shown any interest in your presentation yet? No, they haven't. I'm not sure why that is. Last time they checked in here, I heard them mutter something about my presentation. You got any fresh suggestions for me? And the name is terrible. I think you should change your company name somewhat. Really? Well, I have had my doubts about the name. I really need to feel connected to the name, though. Here, take a look at my list and pick one you like. Cube. <laughs> Cube. Wavely Technologies. Probably talking to the judges, I might get an idea of what they're looking for. Cubus. I also think that's a nice one. I think I'll change it right away. Meanwhile, over at the judges. Did you guys see what they did over presentation number four? They only seem to have shaped things up there now. Well, didn't please me at all. I liked it. <laughs> Cubus. Technologies. Alright, yeah, we gotta work on that some more. Have the judges shown greater interest in your presentation yet? Hard to say. They've been around again, but still seem a bit disappointed by it. Maybe I still am doing something wrong with it? You got any fresh suggestions for me? Uh, maybe you could change your logo type. Really? Maybe you can take a look at my other alternatives I came up with earlier. Here, which one do you like the most? I don't know, so that's his thing. Okay. I don't know. They're all kind of generically goofy. Oh. I also think that's a nice one. I thought we could maybe change the font here on the first part. I think I'll change it right away. Alright. What do we have now? The logo is nice, but the name doesn't mean anything. I didn't like it so much. I don't understand the connection between the logotype and the name. Alright, so that's actually worse. Can you 
you show me your discovery? I'm afraid not. Scanning's already turned on. If it happens to find something out there, it'll automatically materialize the item here on the receiver pad. Okay. Let's change this. So we had this one before. Um, we could go with the wave, maybe? Oh. Okay. Change it right away. Let's see if that makes a difference. I like the name, but their logo is too flat. The logo's nice, but the name doesn't mean anything. I didn't like it so much. So he was fine with it before. I mean, I don't know why I'm really doing this, but sure, whatever. Let's try that one. Logo's nice, but the name doesn't mean anything. He still doesn't like the name. He likes it. I think that's two out of three, so the logo's good. The name we need to change. So the technologies part I think is good. So we could just try cube technologies or instant technologies. Let's go cube technologies. I found it pretty pleasing. I liked it. So we all agree? Absolutely. I guess so. Great. Now, I want you to stay here in case people have any questions. Okay? Okay. Great. And you can come with me. Let's get over there and tell them they've won. Congratulations. You've won the best presentation award. What? Really? Is it true? Yes, sir. Very true indeed. Wow, that's... that's so great! It sure is. Now, can we take your prototype backstage? We'll need to prepare for the show. Of course. Okay, let's do that right away. Come on, help me with this. Let's bring this one backstage. The judges help carry the winning invention backstage. There. Now we have to get you in shape for the presentation later. Okay. So, maybe I... Out of all the stuff I have, wouldn't, like, everything show up? Like, if I could try to get the sabotage item through security by using that... P12 chamber, maybe? That's what I'm guessing, because the other part of it's set up in the back. Overview. Backstage, back here. Police officer. So there's the VIP area. We'll check that out. Maybe we'll do that first, um, and then we'll come down packages. A bunch of empty packages. They're all labeled backstage area. I'll just take one of these. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna grab a package. Empty package. Oh, okay. Maybe we can put, put it in the package and then have it sent back, maybe? Tried talking to the worker and he just ran off. Okay. He really didn't want to talk to me. Let's see if. Come back. What are you doing here, friend? Oh, hi. What am I doing? Just curious. I'm just working here. I'll have to move all these packages backstage before the main show. 
to help you carry something? I wish you could. But they require a valid backstage pass to enter and their personal. So that's another way I can get it back. Why are they giving me two alternative ways to get something to the backstage? See you later. Huh. Okay. So... How do we get this back? Does it say anything... Sabotage the device. Let's talk to the police officer. Let's see what happens there. Hello there. Can I see your backstage pass? Uh, I don't have one. Well, I can't let you in with that one, you know. Okay. I wonder if... Can I send myself back with this? <laughs> I wonder. Like a teleporter? So what happens to the garbage? The garbage is actually divided into pure energy. We could detect an increase in the surrounding total energy, and I've calculated that the increase matches the energy in the matter of the object. So where does the energy go? Uh, it's actually an excellent question. Our scientists are looking into that as we speak. You don't know where it goes. We'll know soon enough. It's just a prototype, man. It's still in development. Okay, I was wondering if we could maybe reset something so that, like, I could go back, but it said non... He said, like, only biological... Like, non-biological stuff will go through it. So, yeah, I'm not sure. We have a couple ways to get stuff backstage, it seems like, then. Let's check out the VIP area. I don't think there's anything else that I missed. I guess we could talk to the judges... The judge at the judge's booth? Let's see. There was one here. Hello. Hi there. Is the competition over? Yes, sir, it is. The winning prototype has been taken backstage to be verified by our technicians. What happens now to the winning prototype? Well, as I said, it will stay backstage for a while. We can't really do anything before the show's over. Gotta go. Welcome back if you have any questions. The question is, how do I get backstage? I don't know if we can just, like, <laughs> just ram a bunch of pills into his face, uh, the guard over there. That's probably not going to work. Good day, sir. Are you here to enjoy the VIP area? Yep. Just hold your VIP pass in front of you, the scan in front of the scanner here, the elevator will take you there. Okay. Alright. What do we have up here? cabinet. Good day, sir. And congratulations on winning the exclusive VIP experience, sir. Have you had a pleasant visit so far? Oh yes, I'm intrigued by all this travel technology. Very good, sir. I'm not sure if you know, but being the VIP for the evening comes with some responsibilities. What do you mean? Well, sir, I'm happy to inform you that you decide when the main show is to start. Oh. Just let me know when you're ready. Okay, we'll do, Chief. Interesting. A lot of liquor here. One could almost suspect the exhibition show itself isn't entertaining enough. Can't take anything. There are drinks. Looks like they're showing a game of football on the screen. It's the Flying Kings versus Panda Packers. I haven't followed the football prime leagues in school.
are several red drinks prepared on the side table. I must admit they look good. Can I... I don't want to drink it immediately. I just want to take it with me and maybe offer it to the guard. You want to drink something? Nice. Did you like that, sir? That was exquisite. Glad to hear you like it. Don't have it in my inventory. Are your intentions to start the show now? Keep in mind that the exhibition will close after the show. If you want to see more of the exhibition, you should do that before starting the show. Okay, I'll come back later. Yeah, I'm walking around with the drink. That's odd. Excuse me, sir. I have to ask you to return the glass before leaving the VIP booth. in there doesn't work. What would I put in the empty package if anything, I wonder. Okay. So I can't put something in the box, so that's not a way to get something backstage. Um Talk to the worker again. Let's go this way. He's gonna show up again. Let's see what he says if I say like I have a package to go to the back. Hi again. I have a package that's supposed to go backstage. What is it? Uh, does it matter? Nah, I guess not. So will you do it? Yeah, sure, no problem. Just hand it over. I'll take it for you. Okay, so I can just give him... Hey, I'm the package guy. If you want me to take something backstage, you have to give it to me in the form of a package. No, oh, this one is empty. What do you want me to bring an empty package? Hmm. Okay. But I can't combine items, it seems like. There are empty packages. Let me see if I can put it in an empty package. Nope, I can't do that. Hmm. Odd. Let's try to see if we just jump in his face. No, not gonna work. Okay. Um, how about I give you that? Hey, the package guy. I'll take some backstage. Give me a warm package. Yeah, maybe I thought maybe we could um, be able to like put him under for a minute. We could then take his badge and get through security because we have a box kind of thing. Um, Hmm. It's odd that I don't have a way to put anything in. I'm just going to try everything. Just out of curiosity. I've tried most of the stuff. Like, most of these, it doesn't make any sense. Other than the sabotage item, it really doesn't make sense. Um, I don't suppose we could... No. I think maybe we could do that, then put that in. Like, we have to do some kind of weird combination of... Combinations, which is sort of a uh, weird combination of combinations. Uh, one of those things that, like, in a lot of these kind of point-and-click games where you're 
having to combine things in your inventory, but I don't know that we've done that much in this game at all. I can't recall an instance where we've actually had to combine items. Hmm. So really there's just that or the Waste and Vanish. I'm a little bit concerned about losing an item, though, um, that I won't be able to get access to. Can I try? Of course. Just pick up one of the cubes and step into the chamber. Great. Now, just hold on in there for a minute. I'll prepare the machine to ignore your clothes and items. Oh, while he's doing it, maybe I can put something in the box. There, everything is set. I will now start the garbage disposal. You see? Only the garbage is gone. Isn't that amazing? The problem, though, is even if I get something back there, it's not... It's not going to automatically do anything, right? Can I try this? Of course. Okay, we'll do this again, and we'll try to put it in the cube if we can. I don't know if there's an option when he's messing around with stuff. I can, like, take this, and then... Nope, that doesn't work. Uh... Nope. take you out. Nope, not gonna work. Huh. There's a bunch of cubes here. If I'm missing anything. I could get another teddy bear. I don't know if that really matters. Sorry, sir, we don't allow people to win more than one bear. Okay, I understand. can't take the drink from here. Can't start the exhibition yet. that first. Can't use it on myself either, it looks like. Odd that we have the option to look at it, but there's nothing on the back. I just want to look at everything to see if there's any clues. Oh, we can just take one. Uh, put your body in temporary cryostasis. Take a pill. Huh. Okay, I wonder... So if I go into... 
that waste thing, and I take a pill when I'm in it. Would that do anything? Would that help me at all? I guess we could try that. I don't really know what else I would do, but I would think I would go through and maybe maybe I would get through fine, but I'm not sure. It might decide that I'm like non-biological and send everything, including myself, through. It might just send me through and leave my clothes and stuff. I'm not sure. So we'll try this. So when we're inside, we'll take one of the pills. There. Everything's set. I will now start the garbage disposal. exactly as planned. I'll just throw away this test cube. Game didn't save there, I don't think. Um, so there's the prototype. There. That should be enough to make the prototype fail. Okay. What else is back here? Just the pad. Door to exhibition hall. I don't see anything else. Just the cube. Looks like it was made out of metal. There are two arms on the side of the pad. They're both pointing to the center of the pad. I can't do anything with it, though, it looks like. Um, okay. Do with the empty package. I mean, can I just head back out? Is that fine? I'm not sure. It's gotta be, I would think. I can't pick up anything. Hey! Where'd you come from? Get away from that door. Yeah, I don't know why we have the ability to grab one of the empty packages, though. That's kind of odd. Actually, I kind of want to talk to the, him and see what he says. Oh! There you are! I wonder where you went before. Okay. He's not really that concerned, though. He doesn't want to talk about it. Okay. Yeah, I don't really have anything else I have to do. I'm just kind of curious about the empty package thing. The power cell, I think, connects to the stuff on Lime, um, but I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it was something in the cleaning level, with the, like the cleaning stuff, or maybe it was in um, the ladies' room. I can't remember. Something required a battery. But I'm kind of blanking on it now. All right. I guess we will start things. I have done what needed to be done. And 
mainly I'm kind of doing this because I would go ahead and stop probably at this point, but it hasn't saved in a while, so, uh, oh well. Um, let's just get something done so we can actually save. Alright, I think we're good to go here. Hello again, sir. You want to start the show now? Keep in mind the exhibition will close after the show. If you want to see more of the exhibition, you should do that before starting the show. I think we've got everything. Uh, let's start the show. Please sit down in the chair over there. I'll inform the organizers we're ready up here. Enjoy the show, sir. Thank you. The VIP booth is so amazing. I think I'll enjoy the show. If we may have everyone's attention, please. The main presentation is about to blast off over at the main stage. For your information and general safety, we'd like to notify you. The exhibition floor will be darkened during the show. Without further ado, please join us at the main stage. That's very dark. Way darker than I expected. Alright, there we go. Please welcome to the stage, Product Design President for Pi Space Research Corporation, F. Roja Pure. Hi everyone, what a show we have planned for you. I'm so happy to see that many of you have turned for this. This year we at Pi Space Research Corporation have something really exciting to show you, and we think you're going to like it. Biological as well as mechanical life forms have always had the thirst for adventure. To see the unseen, touch the untouched, or just travel further than they've ever before. The size of the universe has been a problem since we first started to reach out into space. Sure, there are some solutions out there, but they all have restrictions and some with doubtful environmental effects. We all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I guess the representatives from Spacegate missed the invitation. Yeah, I wonder if it really is, like, actually cleaner. Right. Today I want to show you the future. Um, so I wonder if I'm actually ruining a better drive system or not here. Are you ready for the future? stuck. No time for regular transports. We have the solution for you. Upper space. Wow, that was amazing. Not bad, right? What you see here next to me is the brand new upper space transport prototype engine. This here is technology we could only have dreamt about 10 years ago. But this is not all. To demonstrate this amazing piece of technology for you, let's get those blaster drapes up and please shift your attention out the windows. I want to, for the first time in history, show you it in action. going to kill everyone in the crowd. Um. <laughs> hmm. That didn't go so well. I have to go and speak with my technicians and see what went wrong. Thank you. That's all for now. Sabotage. So we could probably just let it go without a hitch. Um, I don't know what other options we would have. Maybe just you'd never actually do the go to the exhibition. All right, saving. So that's a pretty good chunk of things done. We could go talk talk to the children of nature after this. I don't know if they're actually going to have anything to say, but I think we're done here. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end it here. Next time, we'll try to remember to go talk to the Children of Nature since we're here on the same planet. We still want to take out the Space Gate. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to use the Space Gate and then disrupt it at the same time, or I think we're just going to end up shutting it down. I don't think we're actually going to take it is the problem. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, this has been more of the Captain. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, have a good one.